All right, and we come to a close. Close to a closing, because unless there's more episodes, we're in the last two episodes of Miraculous Season 4. So, part one, which is like, oh, this, why? Why? Why can't you have part one and part two together? Because, oh my gosh, you freaking monsters. But anyways, we're dealing with Risk. Now, Risk is truly one of those that I'm like, oh my gosh gosh oh my gosh so first things first is that shadow moth a um gabriel grass has is like i've been losing every single time but this time i have a good plan after <coughs> excuse me um natalie was like yeah well i have an idea well, not really idea. She just basically said that it was a risk that she knew that she was taking when it came to the Peacock Miraculous. Which apparently still has her knocked the freak out. It's like, damn. <laughs> yeah, and Gabriel doesn't give a crap. It's like, Gabriel does not give a crap. He gives some of a crap, but not really give a true crap about to Natalie at all. And it's sad. So, of course, we already saw that Ladybug has a team of heroes. Looks like this is like the second or third time she needed a full team of heroes. And well, anyways, the plan is simple. What A Gabriel's gonna do is that he's gonna make Ladybug risk. And since she doesn't know who he doesn't know who Ladybug is, he basically got a little child. He's like, yeah, so this is like what the third child he actually victimizes. Well, one baby, two children. Actually, no, no, hold on. I think four children. Nope, maybe five. It's like, yeah, so this is like at least a fifth child. And what's crazy is just the fact of where he he gives her gives him the power to make people do risks. And he's called Risk as well. And he akumatized his frog and he told the kid to hide his frog well. So... You know, Ladybug can find it, and now he's basically singing this crappy song, <laughs> and this song is just spreading all of, it. let's just say, neck tattoo to every single person that is in Paris. Oh my gosh, what the fuck? Yeah, but at least the good news is this, is that we know for a fact that it only has a parameter. It's like, it has a perimeter of how long. Because Felix is like, yeah, he's in this episode too. And don't and Lila too. It's like, yeah, so we have like three things to juggle. Before we continue on, let's just talk about what's going on. So Lila and also uh, Chloe have double teams now. They truly are a team. And when Marinette was going to you going to risk it all and tell him how she feels. They kept on getting away. They just kept on getting away. Nico is a dumb idiot. Sorry to say that, but it's true. Then Alia tried to help her. Then after that, as soon as Lila saw that, oh my gosh, they're getting too chummy. She's like, let's just say goodbye together before we go. We need to tell everyone I said we said goodbye. It's like, dude, seriously. And then after that, they were going to the car and everything, and Marinette was going to try it again because, well, the risk tattoo. But lo and behold, Chloe just bumped her to the curb. Bumped her to the curb with a freaking damn booty bump. Bumped her to the curb as if she's freaking one of those black cheeks. Oh, yeah, the one with the badonk donk <laughs> Yeah, just straight up bumped her to the curb, and then after that, yeah, they left. So when they were leaving, uh, he was able to pack. He was going home packing, and then all of a sudden, his cousin Felix showed up. Felix was like, "Yeah, I'm going to tear off your father a new one." And it's like, "Oh fuck," because he's like, "Yeah, I'm tired of his freaking crap. He got lies. I'm going to freaking make sure he feels messed up." For Adrian, he got to wear Felix's clothes and excuse me, due to the risk tattoo, he was like, okay, I agree, I'm gonna do it. So he was just sitting at the park, being like, what should I do now, since I kind of have somewhat freedom, and then 
Well, he finally actually was like, yeah, well, thanks to Kagami texting me, I'm going to sort things out with my father. And he was like, he tried to tell Felix that day to things off. And he's like, no, no. Yeah, he, he just said, I'm just going to keep going. Meanwhile, what Felix saw was that number one, well, sadly, in episode 20, he said he had to do some safety precautions. So Felix thinks he got a miraculous, but he doesn't. And it's like, that sucks. So, he does got the miraculous. He doesn't see the secret lair, but he does see that he's in housing his auntie. Yeah, so he sees the containment cell of his auntie. And that freaked him out to the point where he's like, yeah, I was going to tear him off. But, oh my gosh, what the fuck? Oh my gosh. He left his technological um, manacle. I think it was called. Monocle, monocle. Yeah, he just tossed that on the ground and then he just went for it and just kept on going. And then, of course, well, Ladybug, I mean, yeah, Ladybug Marinette. Marinette is now going risky to the point of where she's like, I'm going to dress up as a Ladybug because at least people will listen to Ladybug and not Marinette. She goes as Ladybug, what the frick? And she almost blew her cover because, well, you know. <laughs> and then after that, she saw that first sadness and then next she's like okay well i'm going to use voyage yeah i'm going to use the horse miraculous to bring him back to us and it's like i understand it's a risk but jeez can't can't someone freaking realize something is going on and not to mention that he used the kumega on the kid yeah he made sure that kid got like a little bit more powers so let's see. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's like, yeah, he's his Colmega. He's apparently is called his last scheme or his last thing. It's like, oh damn. So Shadow Moth is going down. Some way, shape, or form, he's going down. We're now gonna see the freaking future Shadow Moth, apparently. Yeah, we're gonna get this future Shadow Moth. We're gonna find out who it is. And it seems that I'm pretty sure Felix might actually have been the person all along. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to figure out. It's like, it's really hard to figure it out. Okay, uh... Hmm. Mm, let's see, anything else? I think that's basically everything. The only thing that I didn't mention is that Shadow Moth decided to make it a, a muck, and now it's like the ripoff of the freaking Defender suit. Destroyer suit, sorry. Destroyer suit of Thor. And, well, Marinette was about to freaking go get another Miraculous, while Adrian, the real Adrian, actually is at home. He's like, Father, Father, where are you? He's in the Eiffel Tower. He is in the Eiffel Tower. And note, technically, Adrian and um, Lila, yeah, Adrian and Lila apparently are going for months on end to do a shoot for a fragrance you know it's like yeah so they basically go all the way and just take photos and take videos and they're just gonna mash them up into one i'm not gonna say that e word for that no it was like one interesting commercial so it's like whoa <laughs> yeah like seriously whoa he did that just to make sure that his son is safe but it's like yeah your son's not freaking safe apparently the safest thing you should have done was move him like way far away before you even did the <coughs> akumatization yeah because it, it affects him too you know and it's like yeah well it's okay it's okay it's like not really it just brings you to the question of Oh, yeah, and Adrian was about to actually touch the monocle and put it to his eye to see what's going on. And then, of course, the muck attacked. And sadly, they did a quick cut because now we have to do part two. And it's like, yeah, it doesn't feel like as if it is a to be continued. It feels like it was actually one long event and they cut it in half because, well, they had to cut it in half. Ah, oh, man, I wish that it was just like um, season three. Season three, season two, they all had two parters and it happened the same day. Meanwhile, I have to wait till March 13th for it, which most likely is already passed while I'm recording this, but still just, just damn, just damn.
Now, my only question that I have before I go is this. When it comes to, like, Master Fu, what about the Guardian that's there? We haven't seen the Guardian lately, and I'm like, hmm, did the Guardian get that freaking tattoo? It's like, yeah, that's an interesting part. It's like, I'm shocked that the Guardian isn't butting in somehow. Or protecting her somehow, or protecting them. I don't know, but... Well, he didn't do some good protecting in episode 22, if that's the one that I'm thinking of. <clears throat> A.K.A. Count Blanc, Cat Blanc 2. <laughs> yeah, A.K.A. Cat Blanc 2. So, my goodness, dude. Just just my goodness. What the? It's like, I wonder how Master Fu would have actually dealt with this. Because this is the first time ever that I'm pretty sure Master Fu would have been under its influence as well. You would figure the um, Kwamis would actually notice that there's a freaking different thing on her the tattoo that's on her it's like you would figure they would notice it um Plaid would notice it and it's like oh yeah don't forget about um the fox Kwame too you would figure that they all notice it and they haven't noticed it so it's like oh whoa <laughs> this one would be so big that even Master Fu would most likely fall into this I wonder how would that, hmm, so what did that mean that he would have been able to get the Guardian this way too? Guardian Master Fu, note, because it's like, yeah, it's like, if he takes all the risks, that means the, um, Master, I mean, the Guardian would actually be like, okay, well, I need to look for that freaking miraculous, I need to find it now, so he's gonna basically take risks to find it, which could make sure that all the miraculouses are doomed. But before this episode even started, when it came to the whole teamwork thing, it's like it was a big team and they had she had to get the miraculous from everyone. Um, Alia did a good job being a lookout. Yeah, she's just straight up being a lookout, making sure that, you know, Shadow Moth is not like somewhere looking and being like, All right, I got the miraculous. Yeah, I got the miraculous. Yes. It's like they made sure and I'm like, they did a good job and Shout Moth was like, oh, they don't make a mistake. And it's like, yeah, so this is their his attempt to make a mistake, which, dang, that's too much. It's like, yeah, it's just too much. And I'm like, oh, good Lord. Hopefully, I'll just forget all that happened. And it'd be like, next, next time, I'm like, oh, yeah. Even though I'm tempted to just be like, okay, let's just illegally watch, man. Frick this. I want to illegally watch it right now. But it's even then, it's like, looking, it's like, hmm. Hold on, let me let me check something out right quick. Let me just check something out. Because if Netflix has it, then it's like, oh, thank goodness. Then it's like, yep, then your evil plan can work. There we go. Miraculous. Yeah, we're going to see right quick that if Netflix has it. So, episodes and <coughs> available. Mm, I don't think they have it. Shoot. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I don't think they have it, man. Shoot. Shoot. Yeah, they, they don't have it. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait till next week.